Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to uh, weight quizzes. Uh, many teachers have received quizzes published as a part of their content. In fact, from what I'm hearing, many people have uh, mostly quizzes as assignments. And the concern is that uh, teachers feel like they, and they should, they need to change their point values of these quizzes to reflect whatever system they had before our public health crisis. So um, there is, you could obviously, you could go into each quiz um, and manually change those, and it is a bit tedious. Um, that would um, require, um, here's an example quiz. So if we go into demo quiz A and we click edit, the way to manually do that would be to go to questions and then hit the pencil icon next to each question and go in and switch these um, and then have to update the question. So if you had 20 questions or 30 questions or, you know, then obviously that is uh, tedious. So there's a couple of other ways um, that are kind of workarounds to keep you from having to do that. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to one point for a demo here later. So um, well, I'm going to show you two ways that are possible for you to change the point, the weight, the points of a quiz without having to individually go through and uh, change question by question point values. So one possibility, and it depends on how the quiz was put in, um, but my demo quiz here is worth 10 points. I have two questions in it. Um, <laughs> I have like a, um, and um, it is, um, it allows you when you go into the, um, the little marshmallow icon, the three little dots here, if you click edit, it actually allows you to change your points of the, the quiz. So if I switch this to 20 points uh, from 10 and hit save, if we go, if we go into that quiz, um, the questions are still showing five points and two points in this type of quiz, um, which is seven points total. And what happens is uh, when a student takes this quiz, it will convert that to a percentage and then it'll apply that percentage to the 20 points that I just assigned to it. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like. So let's go take my um, ridiculous quiz here as a student. So we're gonna go into settings, go into student view, so that you can see this in action. So we're gonna go into uh, quizzes. I don't have that. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna go into the demo quiz here. And I just turned that into 20 points. So this is what it looks like when a student takes a quiz. When they click view results, oh, let me reset the student um, so that I can actually show you what it looks like when you take the quiz. All right, so I've reset the student, going back into quiz. So here under demo quiz, when students come into the quiz, they'll have a begin. It'll show a time limit and the date uh, that it's due. They can hit begin. And there's a little loading period here. All right, and this is just two questions. I just set this up as a demo so you can see how the points work. So here, this is a free response question. Uh, is Velveeta really cheese? Explain why or why not. Yes, it is a cheese because yes it is a cheese yes it is cheese because it is yellow and comes in a block okay um and then the world is experiencing a pandemic right now right true false we can mark that true um when you click the student clicks submit um it gives them a little warning that the submission will not be able to change your answers right are you ready to submit so we're going to resubmit or submit and they have a two, a 28.5% because the auto graded portion is down here, the two out of two points, but the free response isn't. So the teacher has to grade that free response. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like. Um, we're gonna leave student view. And as a teacher, so we're back into teacher mode, um, we're gonna go into quizzes and open that up. Remember, it's still 20 points, but there's only seven points worth of questions, right? So let's say we're going to go to moderate, and we're going to grade um, this latest student attempt here, which is this one. All right, and we're going to grade this. So let's say, okay, yeah, uh, we'll give you four out of five points for that answer, which I'm being generous there. But there's a four out of five and a two out of two, which gives them a total of six out of seven. 
Um, you can also put comments down here if you wanted to put comments about why you, you know, scored what you scored. Um, and we hit update. So we see update. Now they have 85.71% on this quiz. So if you go um, back to moderate, their percentage is 85.71%. But if you go into grades, and we take a look at that grade, it is now a 17.14 out of 20 points, which is 85 point whatever, 7% of 20. So it, it just basically weights it. So that's one way. If your quiz lets you go in, and let's go back over to that. If the quiz lets you change your overall points, right, um, by clicking on the little three dot menu, hitting edit, and going in, if it lets you change that, so some quizzes in Canvas allow you to do that. I can make it a 30 point quiz. Um, if I hit save, it's gonna tell me I need to grade, you know, regrade any submissions, but um, so you wanna do that obviously sooner rather than later, um, but that's a, a possibility. So um, the other option, so say some quizzes some quizzes don't allow you to change that point value. So I have another quiz set up so we can look at this other scenario. So say it doesn't let you change your point total right here, okay? Some quizzes don't. So this is a quiz that doesn't. So this is made differently. So demo quiz A, when I click edit, um, I don't see that. I don't see a point total anywhere in here, okay? So it was made with a different sort of um, set of tools. So if this is the case, um, you can go to questions, but rather than manually changing each of these one point questions, so let's say we wanted this quiz to be worth 15 points, right? What you can do as a workaround that's very quick is that you can go to new, you can click a new question group, which is a button at the bottom. Um, call it whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna pick, if I had 20 questions, I would put 20 questions in here. If I had five questions, I'd put five questions in here. So I've got three questions in this demo quiz. So I'm going to put three questions. And then if I want my points to be five points each, I put five points each here and I create the group. Now the group is currently empty down here at the bottom. So what I need to do is drag these in to the group. And you can drag them into the same order or whatever. It doesn't really matter because when they're in a group, Typically, when you administer this quiz, it's going to shuffle the questions up anyway. But um, but then you do need to hit save. And when you hit save now, um, notice that your points have changed here. So that's another workaround. So if you can't find a way, if you can't find in your quiz, if you can't just go and edit the point total, and then Canvas will just do the math for you based on how they do on the quiz, and the, the weight will get changed when it gets into the Canvas gradebook, and then that'll transfer directly into the Q gradebook when they sync. The other option is to come in here and do this, option B, which is you create a new group of questions, a new question group is what it's called, and then you um, drag your questions in there and assign a different point value and it overrides um, whatever the, the original point value was. So I hope that's useful for you. Um, it's a much quicker, both of those are much quicker ways of dealing with um, all of those point issues when it comes to quizzes. Um, just uh, reach out to me if you've got any questions about this. Um, and like I said, I hope it was helpful.